गुड डे फ्रेंड्स दिस इज डे नाइन ट्रांसमिशन कैलकुलेशन ऑफ बहा वर्चुअल प्रेजेंटेशन सीरीज प्लीज स्टे विथ अस टिल द एंड सो दैट वी कैन कैलकुलेट डिजायर स्पीड ऑफ योर व्हीकल एंड ऑल्सो वन ऑफ शेयर सम वैल्यूएबल ले आउट ऑफ ट्रांसमिशन स्लाइड सो देर आर फोर की पॉइंट्स विच वी हैव टू लुक फर्स्ट इज गेयर बॉक्स रिडक्शन रेशियो गेयर बॉक्स रिडक्शन रेशियो कैलकुलेशन आर इम्पोर्टेंट सो दैट you can find out whether your pinion is weak or your gear is weak uh, so that all you, it also helps you to find out how many teeth your each gear consists of and uh, after that uh, transmission system calculations are important so that you can find out tractive effort on your wheel torque on your wheel uh, your final uh, velocity or maximum speed that can your vehicle achieve that all you can calculate uh, so for that uh, theoretical calculations are important after that transmission you should know uh, detail about uh, each component which you are using as uh, for example cvt you should know about uh, the mass uh, of your of your cvt you should know how much it uh, is its ratio you should uh, also know about your uh, axles because axles play a uh, important role uh, maximum uh, in this 11 years of baha there are uh, failure occur in axles so make sure that uh, you design a proper ax- uh, axle of uh, proper strength so that it uh, won't get break during uh, baha event or during testing after that uh, do a proper ce of uh, each component and ce is uh, basically very important so that your uh, vehicle should be of uh, less failures after that so let's uh, start step by step calculation so we need a uh, theta uh, alpha angle so for calculating alpha angle you need tan inverse of uh, x upon 100 so x means uh, vertical distance covered by uh, your vehicle uh, x meter distance in vertical direction while moving 100 meter in horizontal direction so from that we have got 30 degree of angle uh, and there are uh, different resistance like drag uh, air drag resistance rolling resistance grid resistance so this all will uh, all resistance will give us the tractive force so for uh, air resistance the air resistance is made up of, of pressure drag induced due to tur- turbulence of different pressures so air drag is equal to uh, half into density into frontal area into velocity square into coefficient of drag so uh, here your density and coefficient of drag is constant uh, you have to calculate frontal area which will be in meter square and after that uh, velocity we are considering maximum velocity of 60 km per hour so we have got uh, a drag resistance of 55.50 newton and after that rolling resistance so rolling resistance is the resistance acting on the rolling wheel uh, or the moving wheels so rolling uh, resistance is equal to surface friction into mass into gravity so your surface friction is constant of 0.014 uh, and your uh, vehicle mass into gravity so we have got rolling resistance of 28.84 newton after that grad resistance it is the downhill force acting to the slope descending force and uh, is calculated from the weight acting at the cg uh, while your vehicle is moving up the hill uh, there will be certain force acting on your uh, cg point of your vehicle so that can be calculated by uh, grad resistance so Uh, grad resistance is equal to sin alpha into mass into gravity so sin alpha uh, we have to take 30 degrees that which we have calculated so mass into gravity so we have got uh, 1033.47 newton and 
after adding all the resistance we have got tractive force of 1117.81 newton after that uh, we will calculate maximum tractive force because it maximum tractive force uh, it depends upon uh, maximum gradability so so uh, uh, maximum tractive force is equal to friction coefficient into uh, weight of your vehicle into cos of your uh, the angle which we have calculated previously into the percentage of rear weight so as per the weight distribution uh, our 55 percent weight is behind so 0.55 we have taken here after that we have got uh, maximum tractive uh, force of uh, maximum tack to effort of uh, 980.16 newton and torque on the wheel is after that torque on the wheel is equal to total tractive force into radius of the air so total tractive force as we have calculated previously and this is the radius of your tires in meter so we have got 326.51 newton meter of torque on wheel so torque on wheel also have a formula uh, which is equal to uh, uh, engine torque into lowest ratio into uh, overall transmission efficiency so we have got lowest ratio of 24 uh, is to 1 after that as we know uh, acceleration formula uh, so from that we will calculate force so so firstly calculating for maximum torque at uh, uh, 2600 rpm so we will uh, uh, calculate it uh, so after that we have got uh, 279.3 newton meter of torque after that uh, force uh, on wheels so force on wheel uh, which is coming up to uh, torque uh, on wheels just a slight change okay so torque on your wheel uh, upon the radius so we have got a force on wheel of uh, 1146.18 newton after that uh, force is surplus force available at wheels okay after that so we have to again uh, calculate total tractive force uh, this method uh, will be at condition of zero gradient track so when vehicle move on a straight surface uh, so uh, with that condition we will calculate all this uh, resistance again so firstly ro rolling resistance here uh, we will change the friction surface friction it's 0.05 and total gross weight of your vehicle so we have got a rolling resistance of 103.005 newton after that uh, gradient resistance so gross weight into sine into tan inverse of theta so we uh, here as we know that there is zero tr uh, gradient track so the theta will be zero so we have got uh, grad resistance of zero after that uh, we will calculate uh, wheel velocity at uh, 2600 rpm so we have uh, got 3.31 uh, meter per second okay okay so after that uh, we will calculate a drag resistance so same formula uh, just we have to uh, uh, take the actual velocity which we have calculated here 
which is coming on wheels so from that uh, we have got total tractive effort so total tractive effort uh, so to calculate uh, force surplus force on wheel we have to uh, minus the force on the wheel mi minus the uh, total tractive effort so we have got force of 1040.98 newton so we have got the acceleration of 4.95 meter per second square and uh, after this we will calculate the gradability so we have got a uh, gradability of 26 degrees and uh, this is the force upon the total weight of the vehicle and uh, after that the uh, maximum velocity uh, so to calculate the we can say higher higher ratio so we have to do is uh, uh, divide the maximum velocity uh, by uh, rolling radius of your tire so you will get uh, velocity in rad per second so after that we will get is uh, we have to calculate the rpm of the wheels so we have got uh, 544 rpm so from that uh, as we have engine uh, rpm of 3800 divided by 544 so we have got a uh, higher ratio of 7 after this we will do a uh, reduction uh, calculation so that we can find out uh, teeth on each gear so higher reduction ratio is uh, divided into two parts one is uh, first reduction is uh, 3.5 and second reduction is 2.86 so from this uh, input shaft uh, as we have rpm of uh, 3800 upon 043 so we have got uh, 9000 rpm at the input shaft so uh, what we will do here we have uh, divided uh, 3800 by uh, 0.43 that is your CVT uh, ratio so after that uh, uh, pressure angle is 20 degrees so we have got uh, uh, teeth on pinion of 18 and uh, speed reduction of 2 so we have got uh, rpm of uh, on second uh, gear is driven gear rpm we have got is 2571.42 so we have got uh, teeth on driven gear is 63 and uh, after this uh, reduction of 2.86 so we have uh, slight change here we have to uh, multiply by 2 uh, into uh, CVT ratio so we have got a final RPM of 4500 and uh, here we have to take uh, uh, teeth of 18 for pinion and after that uh, as a reduction we have to we have got a speed of uh, 15,742 rpm which will uh, our fourth gear will have and uh, same we have got uh, 63 teeth on our fourth gear 
after this uh, as we have calculated previously uh, angular velocity in rad is 57 so into radius of the wheel we have got 16.64 uh, meter per second of linear velocity so from that uh, we have converted into kilometer per hour so we have got 59.90 kilometer per hour after uh, multiplying by our transmission uh, uh, efficiency percentage we have got uh, 45 kilometer per hour as our maximum speed so this is this uh, slide layout uh, you should have a graph of acceleration and speed in rpm which you can get on uh, uh, bricks and stratton website after that uh, a proper layout design of uh, each and every component and do analysis of critical components you should have a proper NVH consideration uh, of your uh, transmission system and this is it thanks for referring our calculations and if you have any doubt you can comment below and uh, our do subscribe and like to our channel as we have upcoming next series on hypermesh analysis and thank you